will be discussing a lead code problem find the smallest divisor given a threshold so given an array of integers nums and an integer threshold we will choose a positive integer divisor and divide all the array elements by it and the sum of the result of the division should be less than or equal to to the threshold and we should find the smallest divisor possible so uh, the division is rounded to the next greater integer or equal to that number so what the, what does it mean is like uh, when we are uh, dividing 7 by 3 it 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 results some 2 point uh, something and it should be uh, uh, it the answer should be 3 so if we are dividing uh, 8 by 3 which is some 2 point something and it should be rounded off to 3 so we should uh, be rounding it rounding it off to the next possible integer or in case if if the output is if the result of the division is a perfect integer which 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 doesn't have a decimal then it should be considered the same i mean in the case of 10 and 2 when we divide 10 and 2 which is equal to 5 which is a per, which, which is an in integer itself and uh, there is no need of right rounding it off so in this in this case it should be 5 so let us understand this with an example uh, i think it would be much clear so yeah here is example so we have an array of uh, 1 2 5 9 and a threshold 6 so if we perform an of operation so suppose we are taking the divisor 1 and we are dividing it with every array element and adding it so when we divide 1 with 1 when we divide 1 with 1 we uh, result uh, the result is 1 which we can see here and when we divide 1 with 2 the result is 2 and when we divide 1 with 5 the result is 5 and when we divide 1 with 9 the result is 9 the sum is 17 and 17 is uh, and the 17 is less than 6 which is the threshold so the output should be less than the threshold or equal to the threshold so uh, say suppose the we will increment the divisor so we are uh, taking the next divisor as 2 so when uh, when we divide 2 with uh, the uh, nums array elements so when we divide 1 uh, with 2 the uh, the the result is 0.5 which is uh, which is rounded off to 1 and when we divide 2 with 2 with the result is 1 and there is no need of rounding off it's already an integer and when the uh, when the uh, when the when we divide 2 with 5 the result is 2.5 which is uh, rounded off to 3 when we divide 9 with 2 the uh, answer is 4.5 and we will round it off to 5 when we add the the final output is 10 which is uh, greater than 6 or so i mean this even with divisor 2 our uh, condition is not satisfied so with divisor 3 so when we divide when we divide with uh, divisor 3 one one when we divide with 3 it's some zero point something and which is equal to 1 itself and uh, when we divide 2 by 3 which is 0.66 and we can round it off to the next integer which is 1 here and when the divisor is 3 and when we divide 5 by 3 which is 1 point something and we can round it off to 2 when we divide 9 by 3 which is an absolute absolute integer which is 3 and we need not round it off it's already an integer so when when we add it 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 7 so we are incrementing the divisor by one more step so if the divisor is 4 So we had one by four, which is something zero point two five, and it can be rounded off to one, which we can see here. So when we're dividing uh, two with four, it, it's zero point five, and it can be rounded off to one. We are divi dividing five with four, we, which is one uh, point something, and we are rounding it off to two. And similarly, it's seven. When the divisor is five, then the output is uh, five, which we can see here, which is less than six. so it can be equal to 6 as well i mean that condition is also true and uh, which is here it's less than 6 which is 5 so the divisor is 5 and this is the smallest divisor possible such that the output is less than 6 so the answer in this case is 5 right so even let us see what happens when the divisor is 6 the divisor is 6 the output is 5 and which is less than 6 and it's also true but it's not the smallest divisor so this this won't be an answer but the other output satisfies the condition it's not the smallest divisor and observe that uh, while the divisors are increasing the output is decreasing so what we want is the divisor 
when we encounter the first true in this case it is the divisor is 5 so once we encounter true uh, when the when we increase the divisor by any number uh, we will be encountering true itself see there is an order in it like uh, once we encounter true and uh, we keep on encountering trues while we increase the divisor so we can see while we increase the divisor the outputs are in descending order so we can do a binary search on it and find the divisor at which first true is encountered so that would be our answer in this example 1 2 5 9 we can observe that uh, any divisor which is above 9 or equal to 9 gives the same output. So in this example 1 2 5 9 the largest element is 9. When we take the divisor as 9 and divide it with the elements of the array. So suppose we take the divisor as 9 and divide it with 1. So 1 divided by 9 is 0 point something which we round, it, round off to 1 again and 2 divided by 9 is 0 point something and which will round off to 9 and 5 divided by 9 is obviously 0 point something which would be rounded off to 9 and 9 divided by 9 is 1 so anything I mean greater than 9 or equal, equal to 9 when we take as a divisor and we will divide the element the uh, the result of the division will be 1 itself because the value we are dividing is less than the divisor and it will eventually be some 0 point something and it will round off to 1 itself so we could run a root from 1 to 9 which is the largest element of this array and we could find out when when we, we will occur when we will and we could find out when we will encounter the first divisor such that the such that the output is less than or equal to 6 which in this case is 5 so rather than looping over all the elements of the divisor we can uh, do a binary search we can observe here when the divisor is increasing in value uh, the output is decreasing so there is an order and we will be doing a binary search across the divisor range we will be reading first output which is less than the threshold uh, here in this case it is uh, 5 we can see uh, for divisor 5 the output is 5 which is less than 6 and it is the first uh, it is the first output which is less than 6 so we will be performing a binary search across the range of divisors so the range of divisor is from 1 to 9 is the smallest possible positive integer and 9 is the largest element of the nums array so we will be performing a binary search across this divisor values so yeah start point is 1 and end point is 9 and so we can see the midpoint is 5 per divisor 5 the output is also 5 which is less than 6 it means the condition is true if the condition is true the end end is equal to mid so we will be changing the end to mid because the mid stands at a true value and we will be needing the first true value so as we will be needing the first true value we we would be changing the end to mid itself because we know that the present mid can be the first true value or any true after it because it lies in a true value so we will be making end equal to mid So we can see after making end equal to mid, um, end is at 5 and uh, start is at 1 as usual and uh, we will again calculate the mid value which is 3 here. If the divisor is 3 then the output corresponding to the divisor is 7 so which is uh, greater than 6 so the condition is false. So, so which means we are standing at a false and we are looking for the first true value so it will be right side of the so it would be right side of the mid. So we will be doing stat equal to mid plus 1. Now we can see after doing stat equal to mid plus 1 the stat is at uh, 4 divisor and uh, while well, we can calculate 4 plus 5 by 2 and the mid is also at 4. So, uh, so we can see for divisor 4 the output is 7 so 7 is greater than 6 so the condition is false so we will be doing again stat equal to mid plus one. the stat goes to the fifth fifth divisor so both the stat and end will have the same value we will be exiting from the while loop and we will return stat so let us see the coding part of this scene so we will be doing a binary search for the range of divisors so int begin with int end so the end will be the largest element in the nums array so 
so we are finding the largest so we are finding the largest element in the numser and assigning it to end We'll do a binary search from begin to end. So while begin is less than end. Once begin is equal to end, we will uh, exit from the while loop and we'll return uh, begin itself. So mid will be mid will be begin plus end by two so we should calculate the output for every mid so we are looping over the array dividing it with the mid and calculating the sum As we know, we'll the result of the division is rounded to the nearest integer greater than or equal to that element. So, if the current element of the array when, di when divided with mid juice remainder other than 0, we will add 1 to it. I mean, we are, we are rounding it off to the next integer. So now we will compare it if t is greater than or equal to threshold and equal to mid which means we can get a true position so we can expect an answer either to the left of it or on the same mid position. So we, we will be doing end equal to mid else We will be doing begin equal to mid plus one. If you are standing at a false position, the answer would be to the right of the mid. So we will return uh, stat. When both uh, when both begin equal to end. It comes out of the while loop and uh, it returns stat. So let us run code. There is an error here which says I undeclared. Let me make this end time. That's a typo. I expected before token. Okay. Yeah. 
Deutsch Funk. Let us submit. 